we believe it's all about strategic leadership. And leadership is about influencing people, making decisions, and acting. And we have to have some kind of a framework to adjust and to analyze the environments that we have. So we use the strategic thinking framework as a lens to look at situations to help us form judgments. And the number one thing that has come back on their survey of what they want in an Army War College graduate is the ability to apply strategic thinking to complex national issues. And based on that feedback, uh, we've developed this course, which, uh, which we believe helps to, to set the student up to, to think at the strategic level, which uh, is, is different you know, than what they've been used to down at the tactical level. More complex, more ambiguous, more volatile environment. And there's a certain skills that, that they need to, to thrive in that environment. We developed this 10 lesson course on strategic thinking and that's based on five different thinking lenses associated with creative thinking, critical thinking, thinking in time which involves the uses of history, ethical thinking, and systems thinking. And it's based on an understanding of knowing yourself, knowing your others, and the opportunity to reflect. They've had a set of skills they've been very successful with in the past 18 years of service. And when they come to the War College, we try to explain to them that there's another set of skills that are required. There's a book by Marshall Goldsmith that's entitled, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. So the intent here is to help them understand the new set of skills that are required to be successful as either a leader or an advisor to a leader at the next level. And on issues that are particularly complex and ambiguous, there are sometimes wrong answers, but not necessarily right answers. And so rather than having an either-or approach, you have to look at the ability to integrate different perspectives on a particular issue. The one that we recently did in the core curriculum is the Israeli-Palestine issue. But we've used others in the past in order to identify ways to use thinking in an integrated manner. We know you're technically competent, otherwise you wouldn't have come here. We know that you're conceptually very bright, otherwise you wouldn't be here. The question is now, can you translate those two other elements and the ability to communicate with other people to help them assess situations, to form judgments, and to decide what to do and then to act? That's the key of leadership. What we want at the end is to provide the person who graduates here a strategically minded ability to look at issues. And strategic mindedness is one of the three characteristics that the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff wants in our senior leaders. The other two is a critical thinker and a joint warfighter. So you see two of the three characteristics our Chairman has abdicated in the Joint Officer Development are relating to cognitive aspect of leadership and that's one of the reasons why we also focus on this. It's one of the highest rated courses when student feedback and what they enjoy of it is the ability to look at things from varied perspectives. And the very perspectives are gathered by the different types of folks that are in the seminar room. And I look a lot of times as the intellectual diversity of the folks that come here. Their backgrounds, the colleges they come from, the international perspectives of having to. And that allows them to integrate different perspectives, sometimes intuitively, sometimes seamlessly. And so that type of thinking is something that perhaps under the stress of the job that they came from, they haven't had the opportunity to do so.